and having a beautiful start to your day. I'm excited and thankful. We are actually headed to the beach today, which oh, I just adore being by the ocean. So really looking forward to spending time in the sun, in nature. Last night I was feeling so incredibly anxious and pretty negative. I just, the world has just felt especially heavy lately and just coming, just facing it feels very daunting sometimes and just like all the pain around me and in our world it just was really overwhelming last night and it was very emotional and just feeling everything super deeply so i'm thankful for a new day the sun is shining we have a beautiful agenda and i'm just really grateful my friend greta is coming over and we are headed off to the beach we are going to one of my favorite cafes. She's never been before, so I'm excited to take her. And we'll probably just spend the afternoon there, watch the sunset, and then head back home. But really looking forward to it and excited to take you along with us. And I actually finished this book this morning, The Body Keeps the Score. I've been reading this book since November. It definitely took me a while to get through. It's incredibly heavy and heartbreaking and and just I really wanted to give myself time to digest it and give it the thought that it deserves it just is not one of those easy reads at least for me it definitely made me feel a lot of things and again I really needed extra time to digest it but it was a really impactful read it's full of a lot of science and knowledge about our minds and how different circumstances and difficulties can be can affect your whole persona and your life it's just very very fascinating but a lot of the human stories that were shared within this book they they just are horrifying just the reality of what people go through and how common it is for people to face such difficult trials and just evils of the world as much as I've appreciated this book and I'm so thankful I read it and I do feel like it's given me a lot of awareness and insight which I definitely appreciate. I think this has affected me in a way where I just see the world with a cautious eye is that what I'm supposed to say or I just like I feel like every time I meet strangers or I'm just like roaming around the streets I just I feel this big sense of empathy for everybody because Every single person in the, on the planet, in the world, has experienced some sort of hardship or difficulty. So, whew, it definitely was an intense read, but definitely impactful, like I said. But I wanted to give you that update because I've been reading it for so long. I'm also reading The Wind in the Willows, which has also taken me a long time. I feel like just between those two books, I... Well, and I haven't been reading as consistent as consistently as I usually have in the past so we're getting our groove back we're getting a little bit back in routine but again I'm excited to spend time with you all and see what we get up to the next few days basically um, they're out to get us I guess Allison is just is fine with them or I'm one just, with nature she's stronger than they me, know I'm on their team I was getting so overwhelmed and so many bites and I said um I think I have to go <sighs> yeah hopefully we're gonna eat our food and then head down to the beach and feel it out and see if they're still going wild down there and yeah. if so we're gonna just go on another adventure but this is the cutest spot that I've ever been to what's it called Raga Surf Cafe. It is so cute. I knew she would love it. So. I don't love it. It's definitely Happy my vibe. Happy happen. The cutest little like food trucks. Mm -hmm. The sweetest people. It was so good. So good. Stay tuned for where we end up in these no see -ups.
day. Last time we spoke, we were on our beach day with Greta. It was such a sweet day. Beautiful, beautiful weather. It was a little chilly and we did decide to take a dip at the end of the day, which I always love to do. I find it so refreshing, especially when the sun's going down. But we were definitely very chilly and like shaking after because it was on the colder side, but again, super refreshing, always worth it to take a dip. And the no CM bugs, they didn't really bother us once we were closer to the ocean, thankfully. It was really just when we were close to the cafe, but thankfully I think with the breeze from the ocean, it wasn't so bad. And we did go to Publix for a snack for dinner, and I have half of my wrap left. It's feeling very mushy and soggy, so hopefully it'll still be appetizing, but it was yummy last night. So I'm gonna have this for lunch. And the plan for today is we are going to hang out in the office for a bit, get some computer work done. I went to a workout this morning, took Palmer on a walk, and then took a shower, really refreshing shower. And so I wanna get all my work done, wrapped up, and then I actually have another garden project that I'm excited about, but I ordered this potting station. So it's a wooden potting station, and my vision is to put it on the side of our house where we don't really have a lot going on, and I think it'll be very handy and useful to pot the plants and or repot plants, keep a bunch of supplies there, and just have a nice gardening station and work a workplace to do all of our garden projects so hopefully if we have time i would love to set that up later and get that out of the way i'm hoping it's not too complex of a setup and then later this evening i'm making one of my favorite recipes i've only made it once before but we talk about it all the time since then and i'm so excited to recreate it tonight it is a creamy gnocchi chicken soup so it's kind of like a chicken noodle soup but instead of the noodles you have the gnocchi so I'm really excited. I've been craving it again. And our friends, Liz and Sean, are going to come over for dinner. We're going to have a cozy family dinner at home. And yeah, it's shaping up to be a beautiful day. We'll see what else we get up to. Oh, I also wanted to tell you, these are really yummy. I've never had these before, but at least that I remembered. Maybe I have had them before in a Thrive Market box or something. But they are tasty and go well with the wrap situation.
nice editing session. And now, Bruce. Nice time <laughs> Did you hear him? He said we had a nice time budgeting. After I edited for a bit, we had to do some budgeting, which is Brandon's favorite activity and my least favorite activity. So that always makes it a fun, exciting time. But we got through that, and now our reward is some coffee. So we've been doing this mixture, this coffee mixture that's inspired by one of our favorite drinks at our local coffee shop that we go to all the time and basically it has chaga powder in it and then it also has cinnamon nutmeg honey I think all spice all spice it's so it's very autumnal with the the spices and it sounds very delicious all the time really but excited to have are we gonna do iced or hot I think an iced today. Okay, an iced coffee treat because it is a pretty toasty day. Also, we have been loving cream honey opposed to the drip honey. It's only one ingredient. It's only honey, but I don't know how exactly they make it solidified like this, but got to do some research because it's very tasty. It's just more buttery-like. Especially in coffee. Excellent. Yeah, it kind of feels more creamy, right? And I wanted to give you an update on the potting table that I was telling you about this morning. I was excited to put it together today. Here it is. It's right here. I didn't even open it yet, but I was doing a little bit more research. And I'm sort of regretting my decision to purchase this exact one. I think it would be nice, but I was looking at some other ones online and... I think having a potting station with a cutout to put soil would be really, really beneficial and helpful. And then also I was thinking having some sort of drawers would also be nice. This one has shelves and little cubbies and hooks, but it doesn't have drawers or a little cutout where you can keep soil. So it doesn't seem like the ideal fit. So I did process a, a return, which returning anything big like this is not the most fun. I still don't know exactly how or where I need to bring it, but I just figured before doing all the work to put it together, if I'm not that sure about it and it was a pricier item, I think it's best to return it. So we're not going to put it together today, but I will um, keep looking for a potting station and I think that'll be a fun project to work on once we decide on the right fit. And then something else I wanted to try Palmer's paws have been especially itchy. They're not red or anything, but um, at night after being outside and on walks, his paws have been pretty itchy and it might be allergies. I know my spring allergies have been pretty intense, but also I've been curious if maybe like when he's outside, he's stepping in something that is irritating his paws or maybe even when pest control in the neighborhood does its rounds i i don't know i was thinking that's probably not great for his paws and i saw this paw cleaner online that just came in the mail and i want to try it out because it's it looks very satisfying let me show you it's called dandelion paw cleaner <laughs> he's excited we'll make this a positive experience for us but essentially it has this little scrubber on it too. And I'm not gonna use this every single time that we go on a walk, but I think it, I mean, at least I hope it'll be beneficial because yeah, I, I just want his paws to be nice and healthy and taken care of. And it has pretty clean ingredients, which is good too. So hopefully it'll be like a moisturizing thing for his paws and not dry them out anymore. So. Let's give this a try and see how dirty his paws are. I took him on a walk this morning, but he's been inside for a few hours, so they don't look that dirty just when I briefly look at them, but this will be the truth teller. Let's see. I don't even know exactly. I think I just pressed down and then it foams up. Oh, 
Oh wow, that is so cute. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look because it's kind of hard to see, but oh wow, that's pretty satisfying. It's very easy as a as a user to get in all the nooks and crannies. All right. Doesn't seem that dirty right now, but I bet if I just brought him in, oops. <laughs> Let's see if I wipe it, if anything comes up. Oh, well that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Do you have the cleanest paws in the world? Maybe because you lick them so much. All right, well, <laughs> clean as a whistle. Let's try a back paw. Let's see. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, his paws are not that dirty, which means that once he comes in from our walk, he probably just gets all the dirt <laughs> off on the rug and stuff, but it's coming out pretty clean. When I saw it online, the video was so satisfying because the owners uh, scrubbed their puppy's paws and it was like all just so dirty. So. It'll be great, especially in the summer though, when we have more rain and muddy climate. Dinner antics, <laughs> popcorn. We're it's the giggly hour. We're going delusional. We're after after out. 10 p.m., we go crazy. Time for bed. It was a really mm. fun, relaxed night. Played catchphrase. Watched these trivia videos on YouTube. Did some trivia riddles. It was great. But we're sleepy. We really have a relaxed weekend, which is nice. Nothing too crazy. Really, no plans at all besides church on Sunday. Every Saturday we try to take our rest day, which we've been doing for a couple years now, and it's so, it's been so beautiful just to have a day where we don't check emails or do work or even clean the house or tidy or anything like that. So it's truly a refreshing day. So we have that tomorrow and going to spend time outside probably, but thank you guys so much for watching and spending time with us. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I cannot wait to see you next. Bye! Bye. Palmer. Bye, Palmer.